Hello and welcome to Dish Granted. I'm your host, Stephen Lin. I've had the opportunity to try some of the most extravagant meals all around the world. But here, I'll be in the kitchen giving my guests a taste of that same luxury with no limit to how much I can spend I'll have 24 hours to create a dish beyond their wildest dreams. This is Dish Granted. Here we are back in the kitchen. What's up, Tony? What's up, what's up? How you feeling? <laughs> it sounds like you're like on a talk show or something. <laughs> what's up, what's up, man? How's it going? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. Uh, you know, just a little nervous. It's like I'm at a pre-game interview and we're about to enter the finals. But it's only the third episode. It's true. All right, this is the Western Conference Finals. Oh, okay. Yeah, Lakers, Warriors. Yeah, who's gonna win? I don't know. Definitely um, Lakers. Definitely the Lakers. Yeah. Wait, why'd you shake your head? No, I just... <laughs> I'm a LeBron fan. Just the fact that he joined Ryan Bergara's favorite team it just doesn't sit well with me. Also my favorite team. But my vitriol for Ryan doesn't match my vitriol for you. Oh, uh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Today, the guest whose dish I will grant is none other than my good friend and content creator, Freddie Ransom. We actually go way back. I met her at my old days at BuzzFeed and we were in the same intern class. We did my very first food show together. It was called Feast Mode Hunger Squad. And then our paths kind of diverged where I went on to make Worth It. She joined a group of power people called Ladylike and the rest is history. I wanted to bring Freddie on the show as a thank you. I'm a big fan of her, really proud of what she's done, but she's also had a huge impact on my own success and been an advocate for me throughout my entire career. So, Freddie, Come on down. Steven, the dish that you're gonna be granting me is... Salmon! Hey, okay, salmon? So where does your love for salmon come from? I pretty much grew up as an only child and my mom is obsessed with seafood. My dad really loves it as well. But the true, 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 true sushi, I've been eating that since I was like four. No way! Yes, because my dad, loves it. He's a sushi head. He was like, I'm gonna start you early and you're gonna eat this sushi. Wow. He'll do these seafood spreads or what I like to call them like seafood medleys. And it'll be like fried oysters, it'll be scallops, it'll be vegetables. For salmon, what preparation styles do you like the most? You know, I love salmon in all forms, literally all forms. But then I also really love like a seared salmon, right? And I think like having like the crispy outside and then a really tender, soft inside makes my mouth water just thinking about it. Oh man, that's great. This is my recollection from when we did uh, food content together. You're all about experiences, right? If you go to a restaurant and you spend like $200, what's gonna make that experience worth it? I wanna feel like I should throw on a little kitten heel. What is a kitten heel? So I don't wear heels often. I usually wear sneakers or flats. I usually like to stay comfortable, but if you tell me me that you're gonna give me a VIP experience and salmon's gonna be involved, I'm gonna throw on a little kitten heel. Not a huge platform, but a little kitten heel. <laughs> You know what? Bring the kitten heel, and if I nail the dish, throw it on. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We will see you here tomorrow in 24 hours. Okay, I'm gonna go pick out my kitten heel. <laughs> All right, see ya. Bye. Hey, the wheels are turning. Right here, right here. Okay, Freddy. I think my North Star for this episode is going to be fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun because Freddy is one of the funnest people, especially at a club, which we've went clubbing a few times together. We're gonna make sure this is a fun, fantastic Freddy type experience. Freddy asked for salmon, but I think what we should actually do is provide her a seafood beef. You know, her father would provide these seafood medleys for her growing up. So let's just like make it the bougiest, fanciest, funnest seafood medley possible. How's that sound? Man, I'm hungry already. <laughs> this is actually what I would want. Like I also love seafood, I love salmon, I love tuna actually. Same. Oh, yeah, so call it the Freddy, Freddy's Feast. First things first, salmon. We want the best salmon possible. But also, I think I want to give her a salmon experience that she's just never had before. And I know just a spot. I actually have a friend told me about this place. It's called the Joint Eatery. And they do dry aged salmon. Whoa. Apparently it's like crazy delicious. We can get the fresh version and then the dry aged version and serve it two different ways. To taste salmon, like to get the best taste of salmon, raw. Let's just do sashimi. 
Let's put it on a sushi bowl. <laughs> Let's get one. Okay, you know those afternoon tea towers? Yep. Let's get one of those and just like layer seafood all over it for her. Wow. Just like, just for her. Let's get everything, man. Let's get king crab legs. Let's deep fry it. Let's do a lobster. Let's get oysters. Truffle caviar. Oh, let's get, let's get you have to get caviar. Freaking tin of caviar. Yeah. Let's get uni. Wow. Tony's eyes just went. You know what this is? This is fish granted. Whoa. Careful I there, rap can't. god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down here, it's so good. Oh, I forgot to say. What you got? When she was talking about how she loves experiences, I had this like crazy idea. I think we should learn some magic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is that crazy? I think, no, that's, that's, fun. that's fun. Yeah, right? I think we got it. I'm ready, are you ready to go? Let's go. In a nutshell, what does it mean to dry age fish? This is not a new thing at all. You could age fish by smoke, salt, cure. Mm. What we do is dry aging where we actually do not incorporate any kind of preservative on the fish to extend its shelf life. Mm. It doesn't mean that the fish is dry. Very big misconception. Right, because dried fish is such a known commodity. Right, right. It's not dry fish, it's actually aging fish in a dry environment. What salmon would you recommend we get for my friend today? I think the ultimate experience really is king salmon. It's fatty, it's lean, it's just balanced. Gotcha, and how does the flavor of the king salmon evolve over time between fresh and then the seven to 14 dry aged? I don't know how to explain it, let me show you. Okay. We have two king salmons here. Mm -hmm. One is fresh from today. That's this wow. one. This is only five days in. Can we taste? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a cut out of here. I'll take a cut out of here. First up, we'll do fresh. This is came in today. Yeah, today. Mmm. It's good great. salmon. It's great, yeah. It's good. Let's try the dry age. Wow. It's actually super different. Cleaner. It's tighter, it's cleaner, the flavor is more intact. Definitely tastier. I think the biggest difference for me is the natural sweetness that's like drawn out from the dry age. Very grateful to try this. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. That looks like a good cut. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna learn how to cut sashimi. So this is from Hiroyuki Terada. Actually, we're gonna cut the skin off first. How do you do this? You need like a sushi knife. Yeah, you need to sharpen that knife up, huh? I do need to sharpen this. Let's sharpen this knife. Sorry. Great, great. Also, it might not be the sharpener, it just might be my technique too, so. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely the knife. Oh shoot. Okay. There you go. Not bad for a first try. Not bad. Not great. That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh, he makes it look so easy. Oh, he's actually doing it down, down, down. Mm -hmm. Let me try it again here. I'm just gonna cut off this top part right here. There we go. Much better. Okay, what's next? Oh. So you cut across the grain. Across the grain. Boom. How thick do you want it? There you go. Good? Yeah. I'm gonna layer this here, and I'll make them thicker tomorrow. This is just to test it out. And then, same thing for the dry age. And then what we're gonna do is we'll have the cooked salmon right here. Mm -hmm. So let's cook it. I found a Thomas Keller recipe. The way he does it is really, really simple, which I love. My personal philosophy on salmon is that you should really let an ingredient like that shine. I love this recipe, we're gonna try it out. And it's pretty much a, a cooked salmon with, with spinach. And we're gonna do it with the dry age. Woo! Oh shoot, oh shoot. The weight of this is not something I thought about. Dude, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. It's all right, you're not dumb. Oh, there we go. Woo! You hear that popping? That's the moisture. Ah, hot, hot, Careful. Hot. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's dancing. Oh yeah. It's dancing. Do the salmon dance. So, what we're gonna do now is pour out some of the oil, which don't do this at home. Cut this out. Put it in the jar. In this jar right here? Yeah. Cool. And spinach. This is going to magically turn into 
very little spinach. Some shallots, lemon zest, and then some salt as well. Don't overcook it. So we're just gonna top off our dry aged grilled salmon with some vinaigrette, some sea salt, and some lemon juice. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Can't go wrong with salmon. You can't really mess it up too bad. The only thing you can do is overcook it. Yeah. It's great. Nice and juicy and tender. Crispy. Crispy. It's got everything. Okay. I feel very confident in the salmon. To close out day one, what we're gonna do is call in my friend, magician extraordinaire, Kevin. And uh, he's gonna teach me a little bit of some magic. And we're gonna incorporate some of that into the dining experience. Yo! Yo! Yeah. What's Long up? Time no see, Do we dude. do one of these like, okay. Let's we're, do one of these. Post pandemic now. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. I knew you'd be the perfect person to help me prepare for the show and the presentation I of the I got you. Dish. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So I want to show you what we have in store for Freddy. A sushi boat okay. with a three tier of salmon, crab legs, lobster, oysters, uni over rice, caviar, truffle, the works. I feel like with everything happening right now, because I've also been doing virtual shows for the past year or so, mm -hmm. we can sort of mix in that aspect of the virtual hybrid and then in person. So you're doing something while I'm somewhere else. I like that. So I get to be your your sous chef of sorts of magic. My apprentice. Yeah. Apprentice. My apprentice. I want to teach you something bigger than a card trick and add sort of the, the element of danger if you're down for that. Yes. Oh, okay. This is uh That's sharp. Yeah. Are we gonna put the nar on my mouth? If you're okay with that. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> no. I was thinking your hand, but maybe we could throw in your mouth. That could be like the, the finale. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> so all the strings will be tied onto this. Okay. She's gonna go one by one and then- Fast? Fast, hard. No, <laughs> no, no. There, there can be no hesitation because if there is, it's gonna be like a half pull and you're just gonna like, you know. Wait, no, 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 I don't want to die. I mean, you won't die, but you're gonna get severely injured if anything. <laughs> It's just a poke. And for the last one, when there's two strings left, I was thinking, because you know, you just said it out loud in the mouth. No, no, that's not happening. That's not happening. <laughs> Terrible idea, Tony. <laughs> what do you mean? This is the best idea. When you said danger, I thought that was like like fun, but this is actually yeah, dangerous. This is, this is real dangerous. This Come is fun now. for me. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thank you awesome. so much. Dude, good stuff. See you tomorrow, Kevin. See you tomorrow. Okay, day two. Felt like we spent half of yesterday doing magic tricks and not cooking. So today, let's cook. So we're doing crab legs now, and these are just absolutely massive. Woo! Wait, if this is the length of the arm, I'm just imagining the body was huge. I saw this great video online from Kwong, same guy from Fried Chicken episode, it's the Fry Master. But look at the thumbnail for this. I mean, this is what we want. So what we're gonna do actually is gonna be a half deep fried crab leg. You have the steamed crab leg here, and then we're gonna fry the big meaty part. It's juicy. It's like what heaven must be like. And you open the gates and there's just crab legs. This is my fantasy. Okay, our batter, very simple. Flour, and then beer and flour. Kwong uses a apricot beer, but the other's choice. I'm a mango fan myself. It's important to taste things when you cook. I'm feeling like I'm in a good place right now. Like, I no longer feel like an amateur. It took like six episodes of Dish Granted, but I understand flour. We're just gonna do a quick flash fry. I'll do one at a time. Because if I mess one up, I have one more try. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Mm -hmm. Woo! Mm -hmm. That might be the greatest thing I've ever put in my mouth before. Really? I'm not kidding. Oh, huge bite, bro! Save some for the crew! It's not good. It's so good. The batter is so fluffy. I think that's what makes it for me. Yeah, I kind of want to eat the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me too. She's gonna go nuts. Yeah, she's gonna go nuts. Yeah. That truly like, wow. Wow. So now is the lobster. I almost bought live lobster, but I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. Whoa, pretty big lobster. I wanted to do something actually that's more up my alley for Freddy. 
something that she would appreciate, which is kind of a Chinese style baked lobster. I found this recipe online from a YouTube channel called Day Day Cook. It's a pretty easy recipe. They chop the lobster in half, then they layer it with a garlicky butter sauce, and then top it off with a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of green stuff. Are you supposed to scoop it out? I don't know, I'm really confused now. Is that right? Mm, okay. Let's just cook it and see what happens. So we got our split halves. Next up, we got to make our little butter garlic sauce. This is great. Oh yeah. This is great. Now let's throw in our garlic. Salt the taste here. Ground thyme. You never go wrong with garlic butter. Okay, let's grate some cheese in there now. We want this thing to be covered in cheese. So let's go in the oven. Baked garlic butter cheesy lobster. Now we wait. Whoa, whoa, and I'm going to torch the top to brown the cheese. Whoa, whoa, holy moly. It's like a freaking rocket. It's great. It's lobster. It's cheesy garlic butter lobster. What more can you ask for in life? Wow. So. We have the lobster, we have the crab legs. Now it's really just about putting everything together. It's time to assemble. Okay, okay, we're finishing it up here. Let's plate it all up here. We got not a lot of time. Plate, baby, let's plate. It's a lot of sashimi. And then, I have an F for Freddy. I don't know if this is corny or what, but. Oh, that's great. Next up, platter. This is wild. The best part of the meal, I think, right here. And crab legs and the joint too. Next up, lobster brulee, baby. I was just gonna go on. A delicate question here. Does it look crazy in the best way? Mm hmm. Next here, oysters. Uh, I have no idea where my oysters are at. What is this? What is this? That's salmon. I do this left handed. Is there not a different glove? We got first aid kit, we're fine. Ooh, that looks nice. Thank you, Brittany. Okay, last tier, baby. You already know. Let's throw some uni. For a cake? That's what you do when you play basketball and you know, you got the assist, you're like, you just point it up. Nice assist. Tiny cup of rice. You gotta make room for uh... Oh, the caviar though. Okay, so, how much until 4.30? No way! We gotta play the uni. Oh my gosh, rich. It's like, what are these baguettes doing here? And then you look over the side. Caviar. Truffle. Oh, I see, I, I see the truffle. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are good slices, okay. And then we want truffle in our butter. Truffle butter, baby. It's a popular song I heard one time. I can't forget the gold flakes. I don't even know where it's gonna go. I should've used gloves. Is that it? Did we do it? <sighs> good stuff. This is the sweatiest I've ever been in preparation for a dish. And Freddie literally comes here in two minutes. I hope you like it, Freddie. She'll like it. She'll love it. And if she doesn't like it, she'll feel bad for ripping my mouth out. Hi, Brady! Hi, Steven! Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. Oh my Can god! Yes! Oh my gosh, I haven't hugged someone in so long. Welcome! Thank you for having me, Steven. Thank you. You feel free to take a seat. Take a seat. This is your seat right here. I yeah. love your humble abode. Thank you. You know what? I wouldn't be a proper host if I didn't start you off with a cocktail. Wow! It's okay. a very simple cocktail. Okay. It has a lot of alcohol. It's just a Belvedere, okay. which is uh, whiskey, Campari, and vermouth. Okay. Just a little yeah. teaser. A little teaser. Just a little teaser. Oh, Steven. Yeah. Well, welcome. You trying to uh, party? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Freddy? Your dish has been granted. But wait! We must start you off with a magic trick. I brought in a magician for you. Oh, hell no! Nah. That's what I did! I'm so excited! <laughs> His name is Kevin. Hey, Kevin. How's it going, Freddy? Nice it's to meet you. Nice to meet you. You look so dapper. I want to try a little bit of teleportation today. Have you heard of that? Yes, I have. We're going to teleport a thought from your end all the way to my end. Obviously, we're not in the same room right now, but hopefully you can get somewhere. So I want you to think of a number between one and 100. And I'm just gonna take a marker and write something on the palm of my hand real fast. And let me look at your eyes real fast. Okay, we're gonna go with this one instead. Okay, <laughs> I have it. So for the first time out loud, what is that number you're thinking of? 34. You're really thinking of 34? Yeah. 
I wrote down a number on the palm of my hand. I changed it a couple times. Freddie, take a look. I wrote exactly. <laughs> Am I allowed to cuss? <laughs> and you what? can see this, right? This is real ink. I gotta this, see this. this comes up, I do that. What's actually more difficult is if we teleport something physical. So this time, we're gonna try something physical with this pack of cards right over here. Freddy, in a moment, I'm gonna have you select one of these. Now, I can't just have you reach on through the screen, take one, so I wanna be as fair as possible. I'm gonna start dealing the cards onto my table. Whenever you want, you say stop. Oh, uh, y'all be patient, because it might be a second. <laughs> I don't know, thank you. <laughs> Sip my um, beverage. Stop. Stop right here. Yep. This is the card you saw me on. It just so happens to be the Four of Clubs. Okay. So keep that card in mind right now. I'm gonna try to teleport the Four of Clubs from my screen all the way to where you're at right now. Watch careful. All I have to do is build up some friction real fast. And just start to rub it and heat it up. And you can see it's slowly starting to almost vanish. Not on my end, but it's not completely vanished because it's traveling right now, right? Yeah. Teleporting through the air, through the traffic of Los Angeles. Freddy, do you see something behind you? <laughs> Go away. Whoa. What is this? What is it's this? It's smoking. What in the world? <laughs> Did you put that in here? No. Steven has a lot more magic he has on his end. So with that being said, Freddie, it was a pleasure to meet you. Oh my god. Thanks for having me, Steven. Thank you so much, Kevin. What a gem. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. You did not mention that um, I'm his apprentice. So. Oh, are you? I am. Oh my word. So I wanted to give you a totally new experience, something that you haven't had before. First of all, I don't know if you ever had a piece of salmon cut in the shape of your letter. I have not. It's really corny, but <laughs> I wanted to do it because why not? But you'll see right here, we have two rows of sashimi here. Yep. One of them is your classically fresh king salmon. On the other side, actually, is something spectacular, dry age king salmon. Steven, I thought you were sitting at the table with me. You want me to join you? I would love you to join. Oh, I'm down. Let's do it. <laughs> Yay. Yes. I'm going to get some grated wasabi because wasabi is one of those things where it's best fresh. This All is right. a lot of soy sauce. You weren't playing. It's, it's pretty. It's for you. All right, so I'm just gonna like oh, that's a great idea. do this. That's a great idea. Cover it in this amazing little soy wasabi mix. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Mm. This reminds me of eating with my dad. Oh, that's, mm -hmm. that's what I wanted. Yeah. Oh my God, I miss him. Oh. I'm gonna go for the dry age? Yes. I've never had this, so this will definitely be a first for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you for putting me on to something new. Cheers. Cheers. I hate to say it, and I hope I don't sound ridiculous, <laughs> but I think the dry age is better than the fresh. Mm, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree completely. Did You're... you use a cast iron skillet for it? A, a chef magician never reveals his secrets. Oh. As the apprentice to Kevin Lee, I have a magic trick for you. And if we pass this magic trick together, it unlocks the next part of the meal. Before you, I have a hook. And on this hook, there are four strings, but only one of them is tied, okay? And so what you're gonna have to do is you are going to have to grab and choose three strings, pull them off the hook, and we're gonna hope for dear life that it's not the one that's tied. And if you pull the wrong one, I may, I may be you're not gonna dangerously get armed. I will be destroyed. I'm sweating in my poofy shirt. You didn't tell me this is gonna happen. I wouldn't have worn a poofy shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do this one. All right, ready? So just fast. Let's go, ready? One, two, two Three. Three. One of them is tied, Freddy. I'm thinking this middle one, one might be tied. tied. I think this one is tied. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Who's scared? scared me? You scared me. <laughs> Who's scared? <laughs> All right, okay, we ready. gotta do it. Okay, okay. Three, two, Four. one. Oh, well, I, felt, I felt it a little bit. Okay, we're good. There's one left. There's one left, Freddy. This is going in my mouth. What do you mean? And you're going, going to choose one. Ready? It's just eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this one. This one is a little longer. All right, ready? Mm -mm. Three, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did it. Oh! Freddy Ransom, your dish has definitely been granted. Wait a minute, these crab legs are fried. 
That's right. I love that for me. So, Freddie, let me walk you through what we have here. It's a lot. We have a baked truffle garlic butter lobster, deep fried king crab legs, Kumamoto oysters, truffle, which you could put anywhere you want, eight ounces of caviar. You can enjoy that with the caviar spoon along with the baguette. And finally, we have uni over a better rice. My favorite thing on this thing is the deep fried king crab leg. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. There's so much meat. <laughs> There's a lot. Oh my God, it's so good. Ooh, I'm so happy. Wow. I would recommend next, you know, going with the lobster. Mm. Ooh. Oh, this is great. We love options. <laughs> Should I jump into the caviar next? Let's do I mean, it. Now, I actually don't think I've ever had caviar. No way! Let's do it! To luxury. To luxury in life. Oh, this is good. It's literally nature's gift to us. Have you had uni before? I have not had uni before. Oh, look at all the gold! Look at all the gold! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> you need a beverage? <laughs> Between the caviar and the uni. I think I lean more caviar. Mm -hmm. I respect the uni. I gotta start eating it a little bit in you know, smaller doses. Take your time. But I love the fact that I've been introduced to this. I love being introduced to new things. All right, ready? So we're doing caviar <laughs> with the oyster. <laughs> <laughs> so intense. Woo! I love it. So Steven, this has done wonders for my mental health, for my day. I'm like, I'm like about to cry. I like honestly am so happy to be here and this really did make me happy. And it's really nice seeing you after so long. So I'm granting you a gold star. Thank you so much. Thank you, Freddie. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm not done yet though. I have something else to give you. What? Or to show you. So when we were talking, I told you that Usually I wear sneakers. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and if this experience lived up to what I needed it to be, I would change into my kitten heel. <laughs> and so I brought my kitten heel, and you absolutely deserve for me to change into my kitten heel. I can't this is the wait. perfect experience. <laughs> wow! That's a beautiful heel! Thank you! You guys, Steven knocked it out of the park. The experience was fantastic. <laughs> he just pulled out all the stops, and I just had to, so thank you so much. I love you, Freddie. I love you, too. Thank you so much for coming over. Of course, thank you for having me. All right, well, this has been Dish Granted. Thank you, Freddie, for coming along. Thank you all for watching at home. If you want to try this at home, maybe we'll do a pop-up shop or something. I don't know. I mean, literally, you guys would make a million alone <laughs> just on this king crab leg situation. This was mm. so good. Yeah. So I oh. will continue to eat even after we cut. Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs>